Hey gang, Scott here. My friends at On One have released Photo Raw 2023.5, packed a bunch of new features into this release. If you're already a Photo Raw 2023 user, this is a free update for you, you know, available. Go ahead and download it. You can have all of this stuff right now, no extra cost. If you're thinking about adding Photo Raw to your toolkit or one of the other On One products, check the show notes. I've got an offer code down there. Won't cost you anything extra. Could save you up to 20% on the purchase price and gives me a little support to do videos like this. And one of my favorite features in 2023.5 is curves. Now, curves is an old school thing, but curves got some love in this release. It really got some uh, some additional features that make it e even more powerful and easier to use. And so if you're not familiar with curves, I've got a bunch of videos on my website about you now how to use curves. And what they've done in Photo Raw 2023 just makes it uh, more natural natural to use it. It's really modernized the curves tool. Let me show you how it works. So this image here, I have done my basics on it. I've added some dynamic contrast to the rocks. Uh, incidentally, if you haven't seen the other video I did on the refine brush, taking a look at this mask really quickly, the refine and circle mode to select objects. I use that here. Check that video out. Another new feature in Photo Raw 2023.5. But Let's talk curves. Let's get to curves here. So we've had curves for a long time and if you're not familiar with curves, again, I've got different videos that talk about curves, but in brief, lower left is your deepest black, upper right is your brightest highlight, and the line between them is the mapping of that, right? So this is our, our lower midtones, this is our upper midtones, this is the midtones. First improvement with curves is we have a histogram now behind the curve, so we can see if you're adjusting this point here, how many, how much of the tones in your photo will you be adjusting? And this photo is a lot more highlights than there are shadows. This is mostly whitewash, so the histogram, you know, backdrop, that overlay there, already very helpful. So you're not trying to guess as much about what tonal areas you're going to affect or how much of your photo will be impacted by a particular point on the curve. Uh, the second improvement is we have an eyedropper to choose tones on the image. So if I go out into uh, the mid wash here, ultimately what I want to do is brighten up, uh, you know, get, get a little lot more like ethereal feel to it. So if I click, you'll notice that point up on the top gets a uh, up on the curve there gets set, but my cursor is a double-headed arrow. So I can, I'm still pressing down on my, my trackpad here, or your mouse button, I can drag up and down and adjust the tone of the curve directly working visually in the photo. And I'll reset that curve one more time. I can do that with multiple points, right? I can do it with the shadows, I can drag down, I could choose again, drag up, so you're getting to work much more visually with the curve and choosing tones on your photo. Because when you approach the curve, you're like, well, I want to increase brightness here or decrease brightness there. When, you know, this is working with the, the luminance curve. You can do the same thing with your reds, your greens, your blues. The curve works the same way for all the color channels. I'll just stick with luminance to show you the improvements. Uh, a third improvement, uh, instead of resetting the curve, you can right click on a particular point and remove it. So if you have, you know, I put a point here and maybe I put a point here and then I do something kind of silly and it's like, uh-oh, uh, that, that's not right. Um, I don't have to try to move it back into place. I can just remove the point. Or if it's like, you know, I really like that point, but this point here I don't want. I can select it, right click, and remove the point. So you've got more flexibility. It's a more modern curves tool. Histogram overlay. You can click on your photo to set points and raise and lower brightness or color if you're working with the color curves. And you can delete the control points. Uh, so now with the curves improvements uh, understood, let's, uh, let's put it to work here and uh, do a little finishing touches on this photo. Okay, let's reset that curve. And uh, one of the approaches I take with curves, you know, if I know exactly what I want, I will just use the eyedropper and pick on, say, like this, this middle-ish gray. I'd like to brighten that up a little bit, so I'll bring that up some. And usually that will be a little harsher on some other tones in the photo that I don't want affected. So uh, the, 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 the thing I'll do here 
is I'll set a few points first. And uh, the first ones I'll set are usually like what I'll call anchor points. So I'll use the eyedropper and then like this tone in the rock here, this dark gray, I'll click once on that. That set a point on the curve. Now I haven't changed anything. I just set a point where like from this point lower, like to the left, meaning my deeper shadows and ultimately pure black, I really don't want that much change to happen. Similarly, another point, if I find like the brighter whites, like up here, click once, it sets another point. Those are areas I, I kind of don't want to be affected by my curves adjustment. And that leaves, I'll be working in this area here. And I could either choose another point with the, the eyedropper and pick something like maybe brightening up this part here. And if I, if I raise it up some, you can see it's raising, but it's, it's uh, not hitting the upper highlights and it's not affecting the shadows very much. You know, or drag directly in the curve. And notice as I push this, because I've set this point and this point, the area to the left past this point is not changing much. This area is not changing much as I adjust the final curve. And so here, I may actually use my arrow keys and just watch the photo. And I'm just nudging that whitewash brighter just a little bit. I, I like I like a little a little dreamier of a feel to that. And then all said and done, this is before the curve, and this is after. A lot of times with curves, less is more, and I, I like that look for it. But these are the kind of things we can do with curves. It's always been a very powerful tool to adjust the tones and the colors in your image. And now with PhotoRaw 2023.5, you've got more control. You got that eyedropper, you can pick different tones. I really like the arrow key feature. <laughs> you can just nudge things up and down without worrying about too much of a shift in the tones because with curves, often less is more. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.